YouTube. Guess what I'm doing today? I'm going to try a tri-tip. found this at Trader Joe's over in Mount Pleasant. That's right out of Charleston, right across the Cooper River Bridge. And you're there. Uh, we were doing a little visiting a few weeks ago and stopped in there and I saw this tri-tip. They had plenty of them. The only way I can find them around here is at the butcher shop. But so we're gonna step outside in a few minutes and I'm gonna fire up the Weber kettle. And I'm gonna be using the Cajun Bandit rotisserie ring. And I've mounted some extra clips inside that ring so I can put grates in there. And I got something new I'm gonna try today. I'll show it to you when we get outside. It's actually a mail call. And somebody sent me something that I'm gonna try it out today uh, using that setup on the kettle with the Cajun Bandit rotisserie ring and that new toy I got to play with. And I'll show it to you in a little bit. And what I'm gonna do now is prep this uh, tri-tip. I'm gonna put a little salt on it and put it back in the refrigerator to uh, set right, up in there. And it's already side. butcher shop trim, so shouldn't have to do any trimming on it. And it looks pretty clean. So what I'm gonna do is go on pretty heavy with some kosher salt, heavy grind, pat that in. Look at the other side. Put the big end on the big end of the board. Yeah, maybe uh, maybe a little something right there. I might want to bring off of it. A little bit right here. A little bit right here. Lift that up. Butcher shop trimming must have been just uh, basic trimming. A little more salt on this side. I'm going to set this on this rack. Put this back in the fridge and let it rest four or five hours till we get ready to uh, put it on the grill. We got the tri tip prepared and three potatoes I'm going to put in there while I got that uh, pit going. We're using olive oil on everything. Also, I'm using some smoked chili, salt, and some thyme lemon salt. And I thought I'd try something a little different this time. So we'll see how that works out. I didn't put a lot of that on there, just barely twisted it a couple of times just to get a little flavor profile going. All right, we'll see how it goes. You stick with me. Finally made it outside. Let me show you my setup. Here's my kettle, and you can see uh, all I've got in it is a charcoal grate. So, I'm going to put a chimney full of charcoal, lit charcoal in the bottom. This is going to be a fast cook, by the way. Then, I'm going to put a 21 inch grate right there. Normally, you cook right here. But what I'm going to do now, then on this grate, is going to go my new toy. And this, this is my new toy. It's a fire dial heat deflector. This was sent to me by one of my viewers and subscribers, John Knapp. Thanks so much, John, for this uh, nice accessory to go in the WSM. I think he said it purposely for the WSC <laughs> to go in baby. But John, on the maiden voyage for this thing, I'm going to use it in my kettle. It's both Weber, right? But anyway, thanks a lot, John, and we're going to see what this thing. These are not uh, well known yet. You don't see a lot of videos out yet with this product. And I think you can order it from... Uh, Island Outdoors, BarbecueMods.com, or you'll find it there. But uh, it's a heat deflector. You know, you see them in other. Right set there it on top of this grate. You're just gonna set it right there. 
And you say, well, how are you going to cook on that? Well, I'm going to cook over that, and to do that, I am going to put this Cajun Bandit rotisserie ring on. There we go. I've stopped up most of the holes. This is uh, another grate that I'm going to cook on. And we're going to put the tri-tip up here and let it cook through that fire dial heat plate. And of course, on top of that, you have your, your lid. So, I'm going to move it out a little bit where you can get a better look at it, at the setup. There you go. How about that? That'll work. And then what I plan on doing is when I get done cooking, uh, cooking the tri-tip and bringing it up 120, what I'm going to do is take this off and just throw my griddle grate from the burn shop on there and sear it on that. So it'll be a fun cook. It'll be a fast one. I'm going to get my charcoal lit. I might throw a couple of potatoes in there to be baking while I'm waiting on all this to take place. So. Stick with me. I'll show you how all this plays out. Let's put a little fire in the pit. Fire in the hole with Sal says. Spread these coals out. Let's put in our grate. The fire dial's gonna sit on. And I wanna show you what I did was put some aluminum foil on this thing. May as well help the cause. So it won't be such a mess. Cajun Bandit Rotisserie Ring. I think I'll swing this thing around the other way. There we go. Give us some taters. We'll just let them sit up here and enjoy that heat. Looking for a lid. Okay, we're going to let that go and I'm going to start my thermometer where I can kind of keep up with what the tip is and uh, I'll start my timer. Okay, we're going to let these potatoes go for about, I don't know, 30 minutes and then I'm going to put the meat on. We'll come back and put that tri tip on because it's not going to take long for that. All right, hey guys, check back this time. Good. These taters have been going 35 minutes. So. Gonna put this. I'm going to put the big side over this slit, <clears throat> over these two slits in the fire dial part. And we're going to let that go till it gets to around 115. All right, everybody has it. I'll put my pen over here on this side. Let that go until our internal temperature on the tri tip gets up to about 115. Then I'm going to take this off and put my searing grate on, my griddle grate from the burn shop. Then we're going to sear it up and it'll be time to let it rest. And I'll be ready to eat by then. Stay with me. All right, guys. We'll be back. It's been an hour. It took an hour to get that dry tip to 124. I know I said 115, but I meant 124. So, I have it opened the lid not one time since I put it on. So let's see what it looks like. All right. Well, it looks just like uh, a steak would when you do a ribeye, a reverse sear. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna sear it up now. Let me take these potatoes up. I'm going to put them in some aluminum. Break this down real quick. I really don't need these anymore because I'm going to be just searing. So I'm going to take these completely out. I did good. Hardly any uh, fat, drippings, or anything on there. I'll take this out. I generally use this for charcoal grate. Mm -hmm. Is break all this charcoal that's left. 
down here on this end. to get everything hot again. If I had more steaks or more whatever, more meat, I would uh, certainly have put more in there. But that, that's going to be just fine. It's going to be just fine. I'm going to get my, my grilling grates, griddle grates, from the burn shop. You remember that? Yes. Now, <clears throat> we're going to uh, cover this up. Open up the vents wide open and let this thing, let this thing get hot. Take the lid and pull it back. Let's put a little spray on so our meat won't stick. Give it a turn. That's pretty. Really? A little flamage, as Biggs would say. inside we're gonna take it up at 135 come to that time of the cook when it's time to taste this meat y'all want to hear a funny story a cute story a few minutes ago we were sitting in the den while this meat rested <laughs> and Janet said I'm so hungry she said does it have to rest anymore <laughs> She said, I want it to rest in my stomach. <laughs> so, without further ado, let's let this, let's get this sliced up so it can rest in Janet's stomach. <laughs> yes. Get that big boy over here. Okay. Well, it supposedly went to 135, so we're going to find out if it, cooked any more underneath that tin foil, aluminum foil. Ooh, oh, perfect. Yeah. yeah. Great. I like that. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, look at that. Yeah. That is medium rare. Looks great. Especially on from uh, from right here on down. All of this is medium rare. This right here is <laughs> I must have left it on this side a little longer, but that's going to eat real nice. Mm -hmm. Well, now you know what we do next. Oh, yeah. The juices are flowing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I might have gone a little thin on that slice. Let me do a little bit better than that. Hold still, boy. Here we go. Toby, he's uh, circling the wagon. He can smell it. He smell it, Toby. He's waiting for something to fall. Ooh, that looks so good. And since you're so hungry, I'm gonna give you the first bite. <laughs> there we go. Mmm. Great. What do you think? Mm, that looks mm. good. That oh. really looks. That looks better than the other two, that three that I've really done. Good. Look at that piece of meat. That's so pretty. Mm, mm. Very good. Good flavor. Let mm -hmm. me show you. Remind you what I put on it. Mm -hmm. Good friends of ours in Atlanta sent this to us. Smoked chili salt and thyme lemon salt. So 
Where'd that come from? Trader Joe's? Mm-hmm. I think so. Okay. Right. That's very good. Yeah, it is. Mm. Excellent. Good flavor. Mm -hmm. Well, you know how everybody does that? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, this is just me. Yeah. I don't try to pretend. You got me right here on the ground. Ground level. That's what we do. Ground level video <laughs> <laughs> where it's real. It's real. Well, there's nothing left to do but eat, and we got baked potato and a wonderful salad that Jeff put together. And so that's what's for dinner on Saturday yeah, night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Appreciate you coming along watching this cook. It was a little, a little different setup. And thanks again to John Knapp for sending me that fire dial heat deflector. It worked out good, John. I like that. I'm going to be using that a lot. <laughs> and anything else? I don't think so. Y'all be sure and hit like. Um, subscribe to the channel. And hit, ring the little bell over the word, by the word subscribe. And that what that does, it lets you know. It notifies you when there's a new video that I've uploaded. So you won't miss a thing. <laughs> so until next time, this is Phil and Florence. And Janet and Florence. We'll see you. Bye. Bye-bye.